Setting up a dev environment in Hyperland is actually easier than you think. In fact, let me actually just show you just how easy it is. So right now, I use NeoVim, right? This is the NeoVim config that I have, and I also use VS Codium. So this is my NeoVim and VS Codium config by default. So what I'm going to do is go inside of my .config directory. I will move my NeoVim and my VS Codium directories to backups so that they don't operate the same way anymore, okay? And then what I'll do is show you how to configure this on your own so that you don't have to basically just have a subpar experience developing stuff on Hyperland. So let's do that for NeoVim. Let's also do this for VS Codium. So we can just move that to VS Codium dot back. So we can do that with VS Codium here as well. Done. Now, if I open VS Codium, you should see a pretty bland and boring experience. Great. Now, how do you actually customize something like this? Well, the number one thing that you want to do is, first of all, just install a bunch of extensions. So right here, I have a bunch of different theme extensions, which I actually had to show you this before. But basically, if I choose a theme from this custom theme switcher, what would happen is the entirety of my system would adapt to this theme, even Discord. I was also able to theme Discord and Spotify with this theme as well. So in case I wanted to, right, I could just change the theme here and the theme would be up updated across every single part of the system. So just to show you a couple of themes, this is what they look like. I can also change the wallpapers with this simple command and I can go back to whatever theme that I had like so. Ta-da. I can also change the waybar just by pressing one little button, one little key over here. That's it. You didn't have to do much else. Okay. Now, before I actually move the config away, what would happen is VS Codium would update too. Now, if you actually want to know how to make something like this, I would show you how to make it inside of the first link in the description. So I teach you exactly how to make a custom theme switcher like this, along with a waybar theme switcher and the wallpapers and everything else. Okay, I'd actually teach you how to do it by following a complete step-by-step -step system so that you could just follow that system and then learn how to make this yourself instead of watching 18 different YouTube tutorials that teach you 18 different things and then you not actually being able to reconcile everything because you have no clue how everything works. Because it's so easy to just go ahead and say, YouTube is free, I'll just watch YouTube. But then YouTube doesn't teach you how Waybar interconnects with Hyperline, which is actually interconnecting with the way that you start Hyperline and interact with the rest of the components. So if you want to learn how to do that, you can just do that by clicking on the first link in the description. In fact, let me just actually show you. So here inside of system reforging, if I scroll down, okay, theme switchers is a two hour long module where I cover what theme switchers are, the different kinds, how to set up wallpaper-based theme switching, custom theme switching, so on and so forth, right? The whole shebang. So it's a two hour long module that took me way longer than just two hours to create, but regardless, this teaches you how to do that. I also teach you how to make Hyperline into a desktop environment. Here, I cover a lock screen, app launcher, logout menu, basically all the fun stuff. So I teach you how to make beautiful little pop-ups like these for your logout menu, then for your lock screen and a whole bunch more. So if you want to know how to make this, first link in the description, you can go ahead and check it out. Great, now for VS Codium, first thing you want to do is of course, de-bloat. Okay, de-bloat. Now by de-bloating, what I mean is hiding all the stuff that you don't use. So you click on hide, 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 and you hide everything. So you just hide outline, hide timeline, and then in the extensions, you can install these extensions, okay? Install material icon theme. You want to set file icon theme, set that. So you get these cool icons. Then you want to set and download and set material product icons so that this is what the icons look like with the material product icons they look pretty sweet and then apart from that what you want to do is go to the settings first of all and then you also want to make sure that all of your files are configured properly now let's just take a look at we'll open a folder open folder here and let's just go to playground ruby Let's just open an app so you can see what it looks like, okay? Trust the authors. Alc. Okay, this is what it looks like by default. So we don't have a theme going. We'll hide accounts as well. So we'll make sure to choose a good theme. Okay, a theme. Your, not a theme, by theme I actually meant font. Let's choose a good font. A good font 
would be something like geist mono nerd font propo like here and if you're wondering what this propo is it's basically a variant of a nerd font i've covered exactly how you can use these different variants depending on the different contexts in which they can be used so if you want to learn how to do that you can just check out that video but here this is what geist mono looks like apart from that there's also a couple of different fonts that i have which would be operator mono operator mono here okay now here it's actually not installed but anyway operator mono is a coding font specifically where italics are really italicized and made to look like handwriting so that's a really good font we also have jetbrains mono jetbrains mono nerd font where you can get a font like this this one's the standard coding font it looks pretty good now, even if your display it like sucks even if your display absolutely sucks and you despise it this actually makes things look so much better <clears throat> as you can see here so let's keep geist mono which i had by default geist mono nerd font so we can just keep this okay great then after that let's see what else we can configure so if you're on hyperland chances are you're not going to want this title bar instead you want to keep things extremely minimal how you do that is by disabling title bar like here custom title bar visibility you want to turn that to never title bar style make that native okay now as soon as you do that vs codium just becomes so so much more pleasing to look at because take a look at this i can go to menu bar and i can turn off menu bar alt focus also turn menu bar visibility to hidden okay because you don't want to see the menu bar and automatically there you go vs codium just become a much much better editor you can also disable breadcrumbs and toggle breadcrumbs which gets rid of that and you can also toggle status bar a toggle status bar visibility so you don't have to deal with that vs you can also get rid of the mini map you can toggle mini map you can get rid of this okay now this run code button you don't actually see by default you can set that up by installing code runner so code runner it allows you to run c c plus plus java all of these all of these amazing programs just by pressing Control alt n so it's pretty fun you're going to want that you can get rid of split editor and that's it it's pretty much all that you need remaining now for the theme this is actually rose pine right let me show you let's just go to your select themes your themes i can select color theme and rose pine is one of the themes so i can select rose pine and this is what you see there are a couple of good themes that i've already installed by default like capuchin there's everforest Grovebox, kanagawa basically every single theme that you see here in fact there's also a monochrome theme called noir if i show you the noir theme this is just pretty minimal with absolutely nothing getting in your way very amazing theme with a matching vs codium theme to go along with that now let's go back to rose pine and this is what rose pine looks like that is the vs codium part this is how you can configure VS Codium to look as best as it can on Hyperland. Now, we can do one more thing, which is padding. So you see this text here, it's a bit too close to this tab. So we can add in editor padding bottom. It had 10 pixels of padding at the bottom and at the top so that there is a little bit of padding between the tab and the first beginning line. That's it. Now, if you're using VS Codium, you can also have Zen mode. You can toggle Zen mode where you just have the code editor in the center and you have nothing else. So you can just sit here and keep coding if that's what you want. Zen mode, you also have center visibility. You can toggle centered layout. You can take your terminal. You can put that here, put the terminal on the right side, like so. You can start coding like this. You can do lots of fun stuff with VS Codium, but that's what you've seen today when it comes to VS Codium. Now for NeoVim, I'm actually using a distribution of NeoVim called NVChad. So if I show you NVChad, vchad.org, it's probably .com. Yep, NVChad work. NVChad.com is a website or it's a NeoVim framework that enhances your NeoVim workflow. You have all of these features over here, all that fun stuff. Just click on install. Okay, now here, what you want to do is if you're on Linux or Mac OS, you just copy this command, paste it. You git clone the nvchad starter, cd into config nvim, and then you just start. 
Then you run these commands for mason install all, and then that's it. That's pretty much it. It's installing by just using three commands. And once you do that, you'll be able to get NeoVim looking like this. So go to big nvim, conf, okay, we'll just nv config nvim.mac, to config nvim. Okay, once we do that, this is what you see. Let's actually change the theme back to rose pine. And there's also transparency, which, so if I just type hello, this is transparent. Yeah, so unlike a different theme, if I use a theme which corresponds with my current theme that I've selected with my theme switcher, like currently the theme selected is rose pine, as you can see by the wallpaper. Here too, the theme that I've selected is rose pine. Okay, actually, space th, rose pine. So this, these two coincide, and background is transparent inside of of here so let's go here so i can show you say config nvim lua chad rc dot lua theme equals rose pine right that is going to be one more thing here dot lua it's not here it's actually inside of lua chad rc plugins is that here no it wasn't here it was actually inside of chad rc dot lua the theme is rose pine. If I wanted to, I could add in a section that says transparency equals true, transparency equals true, which makes it just transparent. Yeah, as you can see, it's gotten rid of any little opaque stuff that I had here and basically just made it completely transparent. Now, if I change the theme again to something like Everforest, then I open it up. This is the transparent setting that you see working. Now the theme hasn't actually been changed, you just have to change this to Everforest. Once you do, this is what you see. But apart from that, that's it. So let's go back to what we had before, to Rose Pine. And that's it. That is how you can set up a perfectly amazing development environment inside of Hyperland. You can do this for NeoVim and VS Codium. If you want to know how to make a custom theme switcher like this one, all without having to jump through 183 different YouTube tutorials and wasting your time, basically just looking at tutorial after tutorial without learning how to do anything, right? You can just go ahead, click the first link in the description and I show you exactly how you can do this. If you liked the video, hit like if you loved it and want to see more like this in your feed, hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Stay rising. Mwah.